type um, the importance of, of the long chain of omega threes. You know, it's good for your brain, it's good for your heart. You live longer. You cut your breast cancer by fifty percent. Skin cancer is cut down, and prostate cancer is cut down. Um, and I use them a lot in treating postpartum depression. I've seen women in postpartum depression for ten years, and in six weeks on the high DA. Uh, and a high DHA bond. Romantic depressant and other uh, chronic depressant, EPA, is really, really good. So I'm very pro, again, the, the long chain omega 3s, but we, we need to get them from um, where the, the fish get theirs. You also find that the uh, long chain omega 3s improve pretty much all your neurotransmitters. GABA is a big one for relaxation, and acetylcholine is a really good one for memory. Okay, it's the preferred fuel for your heart. So we got a lot of things saying it's good. Now sleep disturbance, two to three times higher. Radiation I mentioned, two hundred percent higher. Sixty percent of kids age twelve and or, or less got diabetes. From the Fukushima disaster. You know, it's hard to get that information. So, long term radiation also affects your brain as well. We have ways to clear it. Now, as I said, we have probably 116 million diabetics in this country, pre diabetics and diabetics. Um, and about 600,000 are going to get amputated. Uh, well, developed foot ulcers, and about 80,000 get amputated, and four years or so after, they usually die. It's, it's not good. Now, here are all the things as we're summing this up. We have retinopathy, so degeneration. I have had on this program people who are legally blind, actually, it's somebody from Long Island, legally blind, and regain their sight in three months. Just, just to give you an idea how powerful this is. It's, it's mind blowing. Neuropathy: people come in, they can't feel their feet. They're able to walk. That's why I sit there like cats, and here they are, walking up a six thousand foot mountain. Okay, in three weeks? Come on. Neuro it's the major cause of kidney uh, death from kidney failure, atherosclerotic disease, obviously depression, a poor digestion. I mentioned, that isn't mentioned much, cognitive decline and also increasing, increasing cancer rates. So, and the cancers are endometrial cancer, ovarian cancer, breast cancer, prostate, and colon cancer, and pancreatic cancer. So this is about the brain shrinkage. Um, for every 10 years subjects had diabetes, their brains were two years older. Okay. And then I mentioned uh, after six years that the brain size of diabetics uh, decreased twice as fast. Twice as fast. Heart attacks, main cause of death from diabetes is heart attacks. Okay. Uh, and this is what I'm saying. Increased rates above 86 will increase cancer, heart disease, lots of different things. That, that's the key kind of takeaway from that. This is what the blood sugar looks like. Uh, when people are spiking, you want to see it actually just go up maybe 20, 25 points. These are classical diabetics, um, and that increases your ability of your body to respond. So it's important. Um, if you have a blood sugar between, as I say, 100 to 125, you've got about 300% increase to getting a heart, heart attack. Cancer, I mentioned, I'm just going to go through some of this. Um, beta cells start to die off at, at 110 degrees, 100, a blood sugar of 110. So, number one cause of adult onset diabetes, number one cause of kidney failure, number one cause of surgical amputation. It's a serious worldwide problem. When people follow the intervention, it works. This is what I already said. Um, so, 
If people follow four out of five in the general preventive thing, got 100% protection. That's worth considering with this kind of thing. So what do we do? Well, I have to individualize the diet. Some people need a lower protein, some people need a higher protein, and the range of fat, plant fat is 25 to 45%. It's not one number because our genetics are different. Okay, so as T. Colin Campbell said, radically change your anatomy. may be impractical, it, but it may be worth it. It's not that impractical. It's a good way to live. Okay, so these are two books that kind of do it. I've covered most of it. I just want to get to the, um, this is when people come in and, and they're running close to 400 blood sugars, and in three weeks, look what happens. That's the blue is normal. So it, we can make these changes pretty quickly. Um, and this is the drop in fasting blood sugar. This is inflammation. It's, you're dropping your inflammation, C-reactive, by threefold. And you saw this already, but I'm just reviewing it again. We, there is a cure for diabetes, 61% in three weeks. I didn't say 22 weeks, I said six weeks. Okay, with 100% no medication. If you're on insulin, three weeks, 24% are healed. 86% are off their insulin. And again, the type one, literally 21% healed, 31% off insulin. Now, Thank you.